Hello and welcome to USL Today, where today we'll discuss a couple big name moves from around the league. Starting in New York, where John Wolinek has been named the head coach of the New York Red Bulls too. When you think of soccer in New York in the modern era, John Wolinek is one of the first guys you think of. He spent nearly a decade with the club as a player and more recently has been on the technical staff there. What do you think... He, how do you think he's going to approach his first head coaching gig? Well, I know everyone up there is very excited. The Staten Island Maradona is getting his first head coaching gig, and he's really excited. I got the chance to talk to him at IMG Academy last week. Very excited about having the chance to lead his own team, but also the chance to develop some of the great young talent they have coming through the Red Bulls Academy and up through the ranks. It's going to be really interesting to see the product they put on the field, because I think they could be pretty entertaining this year. Absolutely. And, you know, that's, of course, a hotbed of, of soccer talent. And to have a local face like that leading the USL team should be a great asset for them. Absolutely. Now, elsewhere, Arizona, one of their key players last year, London Woodbury, is moving in the other direction. He is going, he is signed with MLS. He'll join the New England Revolution for the upcoming season. He was a mainstay in that team. How do you like his chances to become one of those players, one of those USL alumni that excels at at the MLS level? Well, I think there's still going to be a learning curve for him. He obviously has great pedigree, came out of the FC Dallas Academy and got a really good opportunity to learn the centre-back position properly with Michael De La Russo. 24 appearances last year for Arizona United. And now he'll get the chance to continue that with Jose Gonçalves and Andrew Farrell, the strong centre-back tandem for the New England Revolution. It's a great opportunity for him and hopefully a couple of years down the line we'll be talking about him the same way that we talk about guys like Dom Dwyer. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you, Nicholas. Um, 19 days to go until the start of the season. You can follow all the latest news at uslsoccer.com. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.